Wall Street issues thousands, millions of loans that the people issuing the loans know will never get repaid because the people that they're lending the money to are uh, what we call ninjas. No income, no job. But um, they have every interest in lending these people the money because they get their commission right away, creamed right off the top. But how do they manage to get the money in the first place to loan these people, these ninjas? Well, there's two ways. Um, but they both have to do with convincing everybody that this is a sound business practice. First of all, they bundle their subprime loans in with normal loans, and that hides the fact that they've got these very weak, very um, unstable uh, loans out there. Because they're comparing uh, two types of loans that were never supposed to have ever been uh, bundled into one thing. Secondly, these uh, Wall Street street uh, financial types go to their ratings uh, agency and say, I want a AAA rating. How much is that going to cost me? It literally got like that. The uh, ratings agencies said that most of their money actually came out of being lenient on dodgy um, financial institutions, or at least financial institutions that were deliberately issuing loans that they knew um, would be defaulted on. Because the ratings agencies stood to make a pile of money, they said, fine, here's your AAA rating, even though I know you don't deserve it, but I don't care. <clears throat> and uh, the Wall Street suit types didn't care whether or not um, the money went down the toilet that they had lent to these people because they already got their uh, massive bonus for issuing these loans and they walked away with a briefcase full of money and are now living in, um, oh, I don't know, somewhere in the Caribbean in a tax haven or probably actually to this day they're probably sitting in their leather chairs somewhere on Wall Street. Who got shafted? The normal investors, the little people, the pension funds, the people that are investing um, their life savings. Why? Why? How, how did they fall for this? The ratings agencies had given these institutions a triple A rating. This was perhaps the biggest deliberate and premeditated fraud in human history. It beggars belief that this was allowed to happen. Having said that, if these people in New York City want to protest, want to wave their signs and just draw attention to the fact that these fat cats screwed the entire country and the entire world over horribly, and that's all that these protesters want to do, I think that we're dealing with saints. If all, if, you, if your life has been ruined, if you've lost your life savings, your house, everything, and all you really want to do is go out there and protest, I think um, they should be actually financed to do that by every charitable, charitable organization in the United States. A lot of people say that the fact that um, Wall Street was able to get away with this and is still doing it, some people say, is proof that Americans are stupid. I don't think that it's proof that they're stupid at all. What I think it means is Americans are simply too devoted to hard work, honesty, and uh, managing your money sanely as a means of running your life. They believe in their own ethics to a fault. That really isn't such a bad thing. 
I wish the protesters well, and they're definitely, definitely occupying the moral high ground. There's simply no other way to see this. Thank you.